All right, let's do this. Let the embarrassment begin. Hi guys, my name is Lacey of Spookos and Fat Hips, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <sighs> it's been a minute since I've done a tag video, but it's time. It's time to start doing them again because I swear I've been tagged in like a thousand tag videos and I keep writing them down to do and then I never do them because I'm the worst and if you've tagged me in a tag video, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, I'm recovering. I'm moving forward. Today I'm going to be doing the Makeup Memories tag, which was created by a dear friend of mine here on YouTube, Nisa Nisi Pisa, who I love so much. Nisa, if you're watching this, you don't even know how obsessed I am with you. We are both emotional Pisces that have clung to each other, and I just, I love Nisa so much. And she has been gent giving me gentle reminders, let's say that she's done this tag and she wants me to do it. So I'm, I'm here, I'm doing it, I hear you. I'm, I'm here, we're, we're, I've gotten my life together somewhat. We're rolling. Nisa created the Makeup Memories tag, which kind of goes alongside with the tag that I created, the Makeup Mess tag, because in my tag I ask about Makeup Memories. And then Nisa did a whole tag about memories, so we're really just diving into those dark places of raccoon eyes that we don't want to remember, typically. But here we go. Though, side note, Nisa, if you are watching this, and I know that you are, I, if I'm doing your tag, now I want you, for me, to make a new witchcraft and wiggetry video. I watched all of them the other night, and I was in hysterics because I'm so invested in the relationship between Peyton and the vlogger kid, and I really need you to come out with a new video. If you could do that for me, thank you. I love you, thank you. But anyway, without further ado, this is the Makeup Memories tag, and it starts with asking me, <laughs> What is the oldest makeup item in my collection? For like makeup items that I have purchased myself, like me as a makeup lover, I have some old ass Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I have the World Traveler palette and a couple other old Anastasia palettes that I'm not giving up anytime soon. I love them so much. They still perform nicely. They're not smelling funky or anything like that. I like to, I like to collect, collect the Anastasia palettes. But specifically, I have dug through the makeup vaults, so to say, to, to show you guys one piece of makeup that I have kept with me through the entirety of my childhood into adulthood as a reminder of, like, me loving makeup as a kid and, like, I don't know, this piece in particular is something I love so fucking much. This is a lipstick that I stole from my older sister when I was a wee spooky lass. And I could not tell you what brand this is. I could tell you that the color is 06 Gratefully. It still smells exactly like a Jolly Rancher, which is how it smelled like in my childhood. And look at how much product is left. That's it. I use this lipstick to death as a middle schooler and a high schooler. And I will swatch it here for you today. It is a very sheer purpley kind of fuchsia shade. I have always had a love affair with colors like this as a teenager and I seriously if anyone knows what the fuck brand this is I know this lipstick does not exist anymore but if you could tell me what it was I would greatly appreciate it. I since have accumulated a lot of shade you can see by the way you can see like the ghost of swatches past on my arm because I just filmed a haul before this but anyway if I have a lot of lipsticks like this today that are virtually the same color this is like so sheer it's so glossy I remember wearing it in high school a lot whenever there's like a dance or I wanted to take pictures of myself for my space or anything like that like I always reach for this because Black lipsticks, as much as I love them, also as a teenager growing up, they weren't where they are now. They were always greasy and Halloween store quality and awful. This was this was my it product. This is everything. I almost can't believe I still have this. I don't know what has possessed me to keep this lipstick for so long. I don't know if that was like the brand name at one point. I don't know. I stole this from my sister. That's all I know. That's all I know about it. I stole it from my sister and I, I have used it to the nub. This is probably the most used makeup item as well in my collection. Let's let's just be real. Question number two. The very first makeup item you ever purchased. I talked about this in my makeup journey video. 
I bought CoverGirl makeup growing up because that was the makeup that my mom used. So I always used the CoverGirl compacts. I remember mine being green when I was growing up. It was always just like a pressed powder compact. I remember buying the little tiny CoverGirl blushes that they still sell. I remember CoverGirl lipsticks when I was in middle school. I would buy the Maybelline mousse foundation that was in a jar. And then I would buy the pink and green. I don't know who makes this mascara but I know it also still exists today. I have a lot of memories buying all of those things. Buying the CoverGirl eyeliner that's self sharpened in the plastic tube. Remember that was a huge deal. Yeah I don't I don't I can't remember my specific first. It's probably way earlier than that. I definitely collected lip smackers. I definitely had like all of the holiday lip smackers that came in like collective tins. I definitely brought those to school and showed them to my like little teeny girlfriends that like also collected lip smackers. Like I remember that being a big deal. Who lip smackers. So they still exist. Are they cruelty free? If they are, I might I might look into lip smackers again because I miss those. I know they make the ones that are shaped like pop figures essentially now. They're like little cute Disney characters now. But I miss the, you know the traditional lip smackers. That was my shit. I got them in every Christmas stocking always. Always getting lip smackers. I don't even think I wore them. I think I just like collect them and like smelt them. The 90s slash early millennia was a weird time. When it comes to like adulting and like the first adult makeup I've ever bought. I've been buying El my first liquid eyeliner when I was getting into liquid eyeliner, which was a dark time. I was buying the cheap e.l.f. like $1 eyeliner, which isn't bad. My first high-end purchase, I think, might have been the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Or the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette, one of those. But yeah, if we're going old school, it was like CoverGirl makeup and lip smackers. Question number three. Your favorite of your makeup eras... I think it would be cheating to say my makeup now, but if I have to be honest, my makeup now. It's very hard for me to look up pictures of me from the past. When I'm first getting into like makeup, because I have very bad winged eyeliner, nothing in my brows, I was always wearing like a shimmery white eyeshadow for some reason. Like my first, my, my baby makeup days, and by baby makeup days I'm talking like 2014. Like when I got my first degree, like bad stuff. I don't I don't know if I'm brave enough to insert a picture. If I am and it's here, fool, that's tough. Like uh, to me, my raccoon eyed like high school days are a much better day than like me first getting into like YouTube tutorials and makeup in that sense. That was, I know everyone starts somewhere, which is it's painful. It's painful for me to look at. I know it's cheating if I say now, but I really like how experimental I've gotten. I like that I'm not afraid to play with colorful eyeshadows. I'm, I like that I wear this much eyeshadow with my glasses and I haven't been like peer pressured to give up my glasses or anything like that. I love that I wear the dark lip colors. I love that I feel so proud of myself when I wear makeup and so like me and so into it and so like I feel comf comfortable and confident. I, I like my era now. Maybe in the future I will look back at this era and be like, you're fucking ridiculous. But for right now, where I am now makes me very happy. Number four though, like I said, the darkest of your makeup era is totally... <laughs> the, my first degree. Finishing my first degree was a rough time. Like I said, if I'm brave enough to put a picture, I'll put one in here. But I don't... I feel like I've destroyed a lot of the evidence of like previous past makeup eras. Best makeup related memory? Hmm... Again, I have a lot of good, like, recent memories. Bless my boyfriend's soul. And I've talked about this in my makeup journey video. My boyfriend is just, like, the most wonderful person. He's never, and I would never be with someone who made me feel shitty about loving makeup and wearing this much makeup. But he always, like, supports it and he knows how happy it makes me. And I think, and if you guys can remember my haul I did earlier in the year. Talk about hauls. I'm hauled out today. The haul I did earlier in the year where I was, I was like getting everything on my wish list, he had bought me Viseart palettes for my birthday and I cried because he just like, he to him that wasn't a stupid purchase, that was something that made me happy and he understood the value of it and stuff. Like if that counts as a makeup memory, I really love how much my boyfriend like even though he's not into makeup, is he's into me loving makeup and I think that's wonderful and if that counts as a makeup memory and I'm sorry I'm getting cheesy I know Nisa specifically mentioned like her going to a dance and wearing like kick-ass blue eyeshadow and feeling like the shit like really when I say I've only felt good in my own skin in makeup very recently that's like the, that's the tea of it all like that's the truth like past makeup wearing Lacey wasn't doing it to feel good about herself she was doing it to like 
fit in and appease some sort of like societal need to look a certain way. Me now experiments with makeup in the way that makes me the happiest that I can be in makeup, if that makes sense. I don't know if that counts, Nisa. I'm sorry if I'm cheating. My worst makeup related memory. Ooh, I actually have one for this. So <laughs> my first degree is in criminal justice. I talk about this a lot of times. I owe you guys a college video, a dedicated college talking about video. My nose is itchy and I can't speak English. My second degree, I got a degree in physical anthropology and I minored in geology. I originally was getting a degree in geology and I have done a lot of field work for geology. I've gone to a lot of places, I've camped out places, done like gone to, like traveled to a lot of beautiful places and I've always worn just a little bit of makeup even when I'm waking up at like the ass crack of dawn to go like dig at rocks like always I, I I'm that person and even I've had a friend be like none of us care if you're wearing makeup I'm like bitch I don't do this shit for you like I always wear a little makeup even if I'm like in the pouring rain of like Vermont I've I've on a mountain like I've always worn makeup there was a day when we were all driving to our destination for a geology trip and I in the van was touching up my makeup and I had a pressed powder that I was touching up my makeup with because you know like you're in a long car ride and you get nasty and I'm like in the little mirror and I think it's like an elf powder and I'm touching up my makeup and I'm stop at a rest stop and I get to the rest stop mirror and all of the places where I had put the pressed powder oxidized so I just had these patches of orange on my face basically and this powder is supposed to be a translucent powder like it's supposed to be a powder that is very fair in the pan and when you swatch on my skin it looks like it blends in flawlessly but I swear this powder oxidized and I was like so embarrassed because not only had I ridden in a van with other people looking like that, I had now walked into a crowded rest stop looking like that. And then since like I wiped it off with like paper towels and like trying to fix it. And now I can't, I, and I have, I've hit pan in this little compact of powder too. So I have to imagine I've looked like that elsewhere in my life in front of other people. I really need to throw that fucking compact away. Number seven. Old flame product, something you used to hardcore covet. There are so many. Ooh, I can think of them, but I don't have them anymore. So I don't know why I've held on to that one lipstick, but I didn't hold on to these. I used to have a black and a dark, like blood red manic pan. I had so a, a black and a red two manic panic lipsticks that I got from Hot Topic. And they had little skulls on like a silver tube, and and you know, but anyway. And I wore these all throughout high school. I always alternated between the black and the red because I, I always either did a full black raccoon eye or sometimes I put red shadow on with very heavy eyeliner. So these two lipsticks, I must have only, like when I moved into where I live now, I must have thrown away in that process because I knew what, I know I did keep them for the longest time. But the, those, these manic panic lipsticks, and I feel like I've gone into Hot Topic recently as an adult and just like peeked to see if they still sell these and they definitely do not. I will see if I can find a picture of these on the internet, but I don't think they exist anymore. But they were just some real bad quality Hot Topic makeup. <laughs> and finally, if you could go back in time and tell your younger self something about makeup, what would you say? This is this is ooh, this is a deep question because I could get real this I could get real heavy and talk, like go to my younger self and be like, don't listen to what other people say have to say about your makeup. Keep doing you. Blah blah blah. But what I really would do is go back to like early college Lacey and tell her that you don't need to buy all the fucking things. Like let's like let's be fucking real here. I would really tell her to chill out with the spending and that this shit's going to expire one day and there are other things you can be investing your money in because one day you're going to be 26 and have virtually nothing. That's dark and I'm being exaggeratory but I'm being exaggerative but like like I really for being for being 100% honest. I would only go back a couple years earlier and be like, girl, stop. You don't need to buy everything that every influencer sells you. You will live. And that was the makeup memories tag. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to tag anyone specific to do this, but if you are a creator, I highly encourage you to do this. Not only because it's a fun tag, but because Nisa is the best and I know it would make her happy. So please, if you do this tag, let Nisa know because it's, it's a good tag. Nisa, I love you. Thank you for tagging me and thank you for kindly reminding me that you had tagged me in to do this. <laughs> I will leave the questions down below if any of you guys want to do this. Definitely let me know if we're going to be doing it. And yeah, that is everything I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye, guys. <laughs>